Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. So Sonya, friend to Ernesto, had an interview that was put out last night by Tasha K. And in the interview, Sonya had a lot to say. Typically, I don't respond, but she mentioned a certain blogger speaking to his wife, Edith, and putting out the marriage certificate. And according to her, the wife never sent that information to me. I guess it fell out of the sky, but we are going to break down my communication with Edith today and this marriage certificate. I'm also going to provide you with the certificate number and the county where you can call probate yourself and get it straight from the horse's mouth. We are going to get into this and so much more, but before we do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any news regarding this case and so much more. Now let's get back into it. So in September of 2023, we had the battle of Ernesto's wives. Wives were popping up out of the woodworks and while I only knew about one marriage and that was the one to Shirley, three other marriages came about. Now he and Shirley had a ceremony and were allegedly married on January 9th, 2015, which happened to be Ernesto's 50th birthday. Now, I have documentation that shows that Ernest was married to a woman named Martha on September 1st, 2001, and their divorce was not final until December 29th, 2021, 20 years later. I have a whole video breaking this down. Click the link up above and you'll be able to see it. Now, if that divorce was not final until 2021 and he got married to Shirley in 2015, wouldn't that make their marriage null and void? No one online has been able to find the marriage license between Ernesto and Shirley, so what's really going on? So I put up these videos and I'm emailed by a woman by the name of Edith. She said that she was Ernest's first wife. I'm like, wait a minute. So let's get into this email that she sent. So the email is received September 8th, 2023 and the title is Ernest Lavert Williams Jr. It caught my eye, I'm like, okay. This is from Edith Miller and she says, hello, this is Ernest's wife, his first wife. We are still legally married, but I'm about to set the record straight on some of your facts. We have a daughter together. She is 37. He never touched her and he never touched our grandkids. So I don't know where the state is getting that information from, but you're trying to paint him into a terrible person. Yes, him and I lived in Atlanta. We met in college. We had our own detailing business. When we graduated from college, I left him because I can't put up with his cheating and lies no more. But like I said, him and I are still legally married and it hurts my heart reading about the things that he's allegedly supposed to have done. I can't speak on those things because I wasn't there. If he did do those things, then you have to answer to a higher power, which is God. He's done been in prison multiple times for manufacturing drugs and selling drugs. I'm omitting this next line because if it's not true, it can hurt his case. Then she goes on to say his marriage to Shirley Strawberry isn't legal because like I said, him and I are still legally married. But if she wants to stick beside him, that's on her, but that's not your man, boo-boo. You just was a pawn in his game. I'm also omitting this next line because we found out that that isn't true, but you wasn't blind. You knew what was going on, so face the facts. This is her comment to Shirley. That's when I came out with a video and I told you guys, look, I have information from someone who says that they're also Ernest's wife, but I do not have documentation and until they provide it to me, we're only gonna go with Shirley being the wife. So I messaged her back. How long have you two been married? Also, can you provide me with proof of the marriage? You stated that he's not Shirley's man. Are you two together since the marriage hasn't yet ended? I have questions. I want the air cleared. Thank you again for messaging me. She said nothing. She messaged me on September 8th. I messaged her back on September 8th and then it was radio silent. I heard nothing else from her. However, I put out a video on September 22nd about him marrying a woman by the name of Carol Lamar in 2008. Well, the alleged Edith finally messaged me back on September 23rd and she said, let's set the record straight. I'm Ernest's first wife and still is. We got married in 1985 in Aiken, South Carolina. We have one daughter together. She is his oldest child. She's 37 years old. He has never did anything to her, nor has he done anything to our grandkids that we share with our daughter. I'm sending you a copy of our marriage license. We have been married for 38 years and we are not divorced. All those other marriages that he's supposed to have done was illegal because him and I are still legally married. I left Ernest in 1988, but we never filed for a divorce. 
He has six kids and my daughter is the oldest. Martha was never his first wife. I'm his first wife and legally his only wife. And then she sends me the marriage certificate. This marriage certificate is legal. And this is a picture of a marriage certificate, which means someone actually stood over it and took a picture. The only two people that can get this marriage certificate is Ernest and Edith. I can't get this. And this was received on January 28th, 2019. I didn't even know who an Ernest was then. The person that has this document went in and requested a copy of the original. The judge of probate, Tanya Merchant, actually stamped it. You can see her raised seal. I can't get that and you see a seal at the bottom. They were married by a notary by the name of Faustine Burbage and I tried to contact her, but unfortunately she died. I also called Aiken County Probate Court and gave them the license number of 157-831 and they verified with me that these two were married on that date, the document is real, and they verified that there is no divorce decree in the state of South Carolina. Again, this is a picture of a document. I did not pull this up online. There's only two people that can get it, Ernest and Edith. So if it's not from Ernest, who is it from? It's not what you know, it's what you can prove. So on last night's interview with Tasha K, Tasha asked Sonya if Ernest was married to another woman other than Shirley. And Sonya said, so when that first came out, I called him. We called the daughter of Edith, which is the first wife. Edith said she never talked to a blog, never sent them any paperwork, didn't do any of that. And then the daughter texted me back and said, I talked to my mom and she said she didn't do it. And they are divorced. Now what county they're divorced in, I don't know. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Chronicle Speaks has a document that legally only two people can obtain. This is a picture of the document, meaning someone stood over it. And this is a reprint of the document from 2019 before any of this madness went on. So who gave me this document? Do I need to bring the receipt, no. baby girl? Because no. I got receipt. No. Now I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong or deleting content when I'm wrong. Like many other people, I did reveal that Ernest had a gun charge. It was the wrong Ernest L. Williams. I took that part of the video down and it's been down for quite some time. I may be good at investigations, but I do make mistakes at times. But one thing I do not make is marriage certificates. So y'all are gonna have to tell me where that came from. But just telling me that it didn't come from Edith, that's not gonna work. Sis is not going to lie down and take that. But since we're talking about lying down and taking that, Sonya did admit that her and Ernesto are strictly just friends and she's never had a sexual relationship with him. Okay, can you guys take a listen to this? We first went out, like, how did you look and how did I look? But nobody dressed up and all, you know what I'm saying? I think I barely had makeup on, it's, you know, just a little, very little. So you tell me you don't want to get you some toys. Is that what you telling me? I didn't get any. I'm saying I've never, ever had any encounters with some. But, you know, you had did that shit a couple times. And you, daddy, like, uh-uh, don't put that on me. I don't do that. Oh, I can't I don't know. You, you didn't have no strength. I can't at all. tell either, right? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh my gosh. You just gotta be in what you're into that with that person. That you gotta be into that person and make that person feel the way they want to be felt like. That's all it is. Is that right? Everybody don't have that great chemistry. You gotta have that great bone chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. I go on the back and take your clothes off. Go ahead. Oh, I was like, what did he just say to me? We having a straight conversation about I got shot. Da, 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 da. He just, I, I go on the back and take clothes off. It was not the doctor's office. What did you just say? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Well, you told me straight up what you went to. You told me that, and I couldn't. All right. And my ass, like, well, we ain't fucking tonight, but we can fuck tomorrow. You just take me out to eat first. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, why was I so bold on that day? Like, that was really, like, how cold. Most girls be like, no, it's too cold. I'm like, no, because I do want to fuck you, but we ain't fucking tonight. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you do look good. I do like you. I do like what I see. But uh, we haven't had, we, the conversation wasn't a romantic conversation. It was a strictly, like, thug life type shit conversation. So it was like, you can't do jump from that to the bed and we just met. That's what it was. It was just not an intimate situation to just jump straight into, okay, I feel like fucking you now. 
Well, I mean, I did, but then I was like, no, yeah, just go out tomorrow and pretend like it's like, you know, a nice time, and then, you know, you go ahead and do it. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's mm-hmm. fine. You know, patience is a virtue. That's what life Yeah, is. we waited a day. <laughs> <laughs> we waited a day. All right. Okay. We waited a day. That's cool. Okay. No regret. No regrets. Okay. No regrets. No regret. That's good. That's a wonderful thing. That's, that's mm-hmm. wonderful. And, of course, it's just a friendship. It's just a friendship. Uh, people want to make it to be more. More makes it juicy, I guess. Would you say he's just a friend? Conversational time. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 I can't get no sex. What? <laughs> Nothing. Go ahead. Um, you, you, can, you can get all that. You can get out. Hey, all you need to do is walk out the door. Stop playing. You know, all you gotta do is walk out the door. You can get anything. I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. I can't fuck you. You can't what? That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. I can't fuck you. You can't fuck me. Can you fuck me? 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 Can I'm quite busy with, you know, you and, and the business and, you know, surviving and all of that. It's all good. Okay, well, I appreciate it. I, 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 hey, what I'm trying to say is, there's a lot of people ain't got nobody. So, I appreciate the hand you Exactly. Have. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have time for for today. What I need you to do is leave a comment. Tell me what you think about Sonya and everything going on with this Ernesto Sonya saga. Leave a comment and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.